Hi everyone! I wanted to do a review on the Trio Max from Mobile Pixels. I ordered two of them so that I can have the triple screen set up with my laptop. Here is what the back looks like. So this logo actually uh, illuminates when it's connected to the laptop when it's powered up. And the other side has the four magnets that can connect to the four metal plates that you can put on your laptop or also um, if you have the kickstand the top two ma uh, magnets can connect to the two metal plates on that kickstand and I also have a kickstand that I can uh, show an example with later as well and this is the actual screen that can come out the actual screen that can come out and then it'll bend um, at, at that particular angle and axis. It has to come all the way out for it to, to bend. I wanted to show the screens with a Windows laptop, a more updated Windows laptop with two USB-C ports. Um, and it's also a smaller laptop so I'm not able to put the screens on the actual back because the screens are slightly bigger than the laptop um, so I use the kickstand to prop one up and then I you I prop the other one up vertically and I'll show that as well to use the kickstand um, you open one of the screens all the way and then you put put it in presentation mode so you flip the screen away from the magnets so it's like this the magnets are still in the back um, and then this is the kickstand it just has these two metal plates and it bends right here and the other side is just blank um, so you can put the two metal plates against those two magnets and then prop the actual screen up like that. So the Trio Max has two USB-C ports. Um, the top one is used for a pass-through charging of the device and this one is for the display from the laptop and this also provides the power for the screen by itself. So the first Trio Max is being held up by the kickstand and the second one I'm going to display vertically. So I'll just take the screen out and then fold it upwards and it's strong enough um, to stay folded up without any uh, propping or anything and the connections are up top. So this Windows laptop only has two USB-C ports and um, the rest are either USB-A or some other ports. And using USB-C it didn't need any drivers to be installed, it just plugged, um, plugged in and the display uh, from the Trio Max worked automatically. And one of these is used to power the laptop. So I was a little concerned that I wasn't going to be able to just utilize both USB-Cs without installing the driver for it on this laptop. But um, using the pass-through power of the device that the screens have, I was able to go ahead and do that. So let me connect both of the screens first. So the wires that came that come with the Trio Max has uh, the USB-C and then it also has an adapter for USB-A that can be used. But I also wanted to show that 
right now it is running on battery so I have not connected the power for this but like I mentioned before both of these screens have that additional port for um, the charging pass through so I'm going to connect it to this one so now this is actually um, charging my laptop as well so even though I only have two USB-C ports um, I can utilize those two for the screens and then uh, one of the screens for charging the laptop so right now it is showing that the screen on the left is screen number two since it's the vertical one and this one on the right is screen number three since it is the horizontal one so I'm going to switch these so that this one's the second screen and this one's the third one but also I'm going to change the orientation so the second screen after clicking on it I want it to be landscape so it did put it to landscape I'm going to keep the changes and then do the same thing for this third one it is horizontal click on it I want it portrait and I'm going to click on the flipped so that the the taskbar is at the bottom. Um, portrait the other way will be upside down. So that's all I had to do. Now after flipping the screens, I can now use this one. It's horizontal. This one as vertical. And since use the USB-C ports, it, I did not have to install any drivers on this laptop. Now I wanted to show the two Trio Maxes with my Mac Book Pro. This is a 2013. The, it only has the power, one USB-A port here, two um, of the Thunderbolt, one or two uh, ports that I've never used. Um, I, don't, I don't think they make anything currently that uses um, those kinds of ports, the SD, HDMI, and it has a USB, another USB-A port. So this one only has two USB-A ports that I can use for the screens. So I placed the four metal plates on the actual cover of the laptop, so not directly on it. Each Trio Max did come with um, one of these each so that you can clip them together so I'm going to hold this one the screen will come out on this side and then I'm going to place the other one the other way so the screen comes out of the other side and I'm going to clip them so that the each of the screens are just a little bit off to the side and I know one of the things mentioned in one of the screens is this clip has a little chamfer and that that chamfer should be facing uh, out. So if I'm clipping them um, like this, the back side is where the chamfer should go. So let me clip those. So now it's being clipped. The magnets are more towards the left so that um, the screen closest to the laptop can extend correctly. Okay, so now that I've replaced the screen, I'm going to open my laptop. It does slide a little bit in the back since having both screens makes it really heavy. Um, so it uses the actual surface, the table surface, to um, kind of hold that weight. I have to slide this one a little bit more. And that clip lets it slide. Now I can extend it.
Okay, so that's them extended. I'm going to connect each one. And now I do have to use the adapter for USB-C to USB-A. I have already installed the drivers on this Mac. So this one, since I did not have any USB-C ports, I installed the drivers ahead of time. I just went to the mobile, uh, no, Display Link website and installed the drivers for Mac. Uh, for my version of Mac OS and after I installed it I was able to use the screens so it did take a couple of seconds for the screen uh, for this screen on the right to register with the Mac and then it finally uh, did show up as second screen this one um, did not come out from saying please wait i actually had to disconnect it and connect it again and then it registered there are um the first time i connected them the this one on the left was upside down so i did have to go into my mac settings to change that and i can show that real quick i went to displays and then after I click on displays these come out on each of the screens so this one was actually showing as standard so it was when I first connected it it was upside down like this I went to rotation clicked 180 degrees and then it did put that right side up confirm So that's it for these. This is using USB-A with the installed uh, display link drivers. Each screen also has this menu and then on up and down for uh, the different options. And since this screen was considered upside down at first, when I do click on the menu, it does show the menu upside down. So there, there is an OSD rotate option so that you can rotate that based on um, the orientation of the screen. Um, here, I'm just gonna press play. Free update on the people mover. We invite you to sit back, relax, and, and enjoy your grand circle tour about exactly what is happening with the Tomorrowland Transit Authority people mover at Walt Disney World up next. <laughs> It's lighter, it has upgraded aesthetics, and it also has a mode that enables the user to clip two screens together for a total of three screens. With different setups, it will give you different possibilities. Just like the Duo, a single trio can be magnetized to the back of any laptop extended. This is the view from the back. So the logo gets illuminated, both screens are extended. And this is the clip, so the chamfer side is facing outwards, clips both of them together. This one is farther to the left, this one's farther to the right, and this is the one um, with the magnets closer to this side as well so that it can actually uh, extend that way and then using the clip the second screen can slide farther to this side so that this side can extend as well so that's all i have for this review uh, overall i really do like these screens um the kickstand works great for the smaller laptop that i have i love that it can be uh vertical these screens are just super useful now that i'm working from home so if there's any questions let me know thank you